Hi, I'm David Van Werkum. And I'm Brooke Stanley, and we are application engineers here at Keysight. Today we are introducing our new signal source analyzer, the SSAX. The SSAX is an all-in-one measurement instrument that uses high-performance LOs and cross-correlation to achieve best-in-class sensitivity. It's capable of doing absolute and residual phase noise measurements, jitter, spectrum and network analysis, transient measurements, millimeter wave measurements, and VCO tests. Today we're going to show off three of these measurement capabilities. First, we're going to measure absolute phase noise. This is the measurement of a one-port device like a signal generator, a synthesizer, or an OCXO. David will show off the absolute phase noise of our highest performance vector signal generator, the M9484C VXG. The new SSAX can now make measurements up to 54 gigahertz without a down converter. We've configured the VXG to output a CW at 54 gigahertz and have directly connected it to the SSAX receiver input. The VXG has extremely low phase noise. In order to measure devices like the VXG, the SSAX needs very high measurement sensitivity. This measurement sensitivity is achieved using a process called cross-correlation, where uncorrelated noise from two independent LOs and receivers is removed and the correlated noise from the DUT that is common to both receiver paths is retained. This removes the instrument noise from the measurement and allows sensitivity down to the KT thermal noise floor. The solid yellow trace is the phase noise of the VXG at 54 gigahertz, and the solid blue trace is the VXG AM noise, which is measured simultaneously. Below the trace, we can see a translucent shaded area that we call the correlation gain indicator. The correlation gain indicator shows us the improvement in measurement system sensitivity that we get from a given amount of correlations. Ideally, we would have 10 dB of margin between the solid yellow trace and the correlation gain indicator area to ensure that we are measuring the VXG's actual phase noise. Now we're going to make some residual measurements. A residual noise measurement is AM noise or phase noise that is added to an ideal CW signal by a multiport device, like a mixer, a multiplier, a divider, or amplifier. The SSAX has an extremely low phase noise RF stimulus source that goes up to 54 gigahertz for residual noise measurements. With the SSAX, any noise from the RF stimulus source is a common mode signal into two receivers and ratioed out of the measurement such that the additive noise of the multi-port DUT is the only thing that is measured. One of the RF stimulus source outputs goes into receiver one and the other RF stimulus output goes into our DUT input which is a 40 gigahertz LNA. The output of the LNA goes into receiver two to complete the setup. There are no external components required, making this an extremely easy setup. The yellow trace is the very low phase noise of the 40 gigahertz LNA. The blue trace is the AM noise. The input is minus six dBm and the gain is about eight dB. And we can verify this by looking at the difference between the power of RF1 and RF2. The residual phase noise of this device is about minus 160 dBc per hertz at 100 kilohertz offset. As we just saw, the SSAX can natively measure phase noise up to 54 gigahertz. It can also measure absolute phase noise beyond 54 gigahertz with an external down converter. The SSAX has two independent LO outputs and IF inputs to enable both internal channels to be used with a dual channel down converter for cross correlation and thus higher sensitivity. I have added the E5051 AW06 phase noise measurement down converter from VDI, which has a power splitter and two independent down converters. It is made up of waveguide components that are similar to what I have here, but all contained in an easy to use self-contained box. To generate a millimeter wave D-band CW signal as our signal under test, we have also brought in a VDI SGX signal generator extender to multiply the output of the VXG up to D-band. As you can see, one VXG RF output is a CW signal at 14.167 GHz that is multiplied up to 170 GHz by the SGX times 12 active multiplier. The other VXG RF output is also at 14.167 GHz but is directly connected to the SSAX. 
The 170 gigahertz D-band signal under test goes into the down converter and the SSAX sends two independent LO signals to the down converter and receives the IF outputs from the down converter, allowing the SSAX to remove the uncorrelated system noise from the down converter and its own internal dual channel receivers with cross correlation and thus ensuring we are only measuring the device under test and not the test system. The yellow trace in the top window is the phase noise performance of the VXG multiplied up to 170 GHz. The yellow trace in the bottom window is the native VXG phase noise at 14.167 GHz, being measured sequentially without the use of a switch matrix. In a multiplier, the phase noise scales by 20 log n, where n is the factor from one center frequency to another. Since we use the multiplier factor of n equals 12 here, in theory, the phase noise should increase by 21.5 dB with the 20 log n rule. As you can see, the phase noise data in the table shows about a 21.5 dB difference at all offsets. Today we saw some of the new capabilities of the SSAX Signal Source Analyzer. The SSAX is an extremely high performance phase noise analysis tool with best in class sensitivity that is extremely easy to use and set up even for formally complex measurements like residual noise. We also saw that the SSAX is much more than a phase noise analyzer. The SSAX is really an all-in-one measurement tool that supports absolute and residual phase noise, NAM noise measurements, has built-in spectrum analysis, vector network analysis, has extremely low noise DC power supplies for powering DUTs and VCOs, a sweep voltage for VCO test, millimeter wave phase noise measurements with easy to use extenders from VDI, transient analysis, and jitter measurements. We had a great time. We went over some of the key features of the new SSX signal source analyzer. To learn more about the SSX, visit the Keysight Phase Noise Measurement Solutions page.